So I could just... All this is, like, herbs and stuff. So I could just, like, swim all the way there. But... Yeah, there it is. Just swim from Stranglethorn to there. But, of course, in the future... Once I hit that 60 mark, if I hit that 60 mark, when I, when I hit that 60 mark, um, I will make my way over there. The series isn't gonna, ooh, that's the wrong way. The series isn't gonna end once I hit to 60, like, I'll, uh, make a new playlist of Immortal Saluna. It'll just not be leveling anymore, it's just gonna be Immortal and uh, I'll try to do the things that I couldn't do as hardcore, such as some of the elite quests, which I'll probably get nothing for anyway, but I will try it out. Um, ooh, oh, we don't want to go that way. We don't want to go that way. Oh, wait. Huh? What are you doing? What on... Why? Why are you patrolling the middle? Is this for another quest? I feel like it's, it's for a quest where you have to kill this guy who just walks back and forth. Okay. But anyway, um, I will try to go to Swamp Swampa Sorrels. Once I hit that immortal status. And uh, I will test out everything. I'll try going the Deadwind Pass path. And I'll also try to do the swimming route. To see if it's survivable. If I was able to make it. So, uh, we'll see you guys. We, we just got... What? Can't say four and a half, but nearly four and a half levels left. And it would definitely be a big loss if I die of something really stupid. Today is a good day for an upgrade. Woohoo! So I've been feeling pretty confident that I can take these mobs out in cat form now. And the things to be careful of is this festering rash disease. Which I think the... I can't remember if the owl beast or if the yeti did it. But one of them did. And... That rend that that owl beast does really hurts. These yetis have this lovely, lovely freeze ability. Let's see if I can pull it here. And what I like to do is to try to get a bleeding effect on it as soon as I can with as much combo points. There it is. Like, they'll only freeze you for a couple of seconds. But I like to get that bleeding in, so I'm doing damage in. Even though I'm frozen. And well, bam! Yeti down. These owls are just easy. They'll go down. I don't think there's really anything special about them. Um, I'm definitely having an easier time with this owl compared to in Fellwood when I was grinding the owls there. It was definitely a little bit easier. Yeah, I haven't tried fighting these bears yet. So, I'm gonna try. I try my best.
This isn't so bad. I was scared of these bears for like the longest time. But it's not terrible. Not terrible in bear form, at least. Slow, but that wasn't so bad at all. I'm not gonna lie, that made me nervous the whole time. <laughs> I may have been quiet, but I was like super lasered focus into just trying to kill that chimera. Yeah. That was, that was freaky. <laughs> I'm uh, reading guild chat right now. Guys, I need mathematics here. What do you reckon the chances are I die an alliance by being hardcore with more, more mode on, huh? 100%, 100%, As per how many people got to 60, 99%. Don't even bother going more mode as hardcore. About 50% you die before 10, 90% you die before 20. It's a hundred percent because I'll kill you. Oh boy, yeah. Um, why do war mode anyway? <laughs> do you think you get killed a lot with war mode on horde? <sighs> okay, yeah. So, war mode is a glyph you can activate like near the starting area, I think. And, um, in case you guys didn't know, and you'll be PvP on at all times. Yeah, there is absolutely no point. There's no point. <laughs> like, you are gonna run into other faction. The other faction, like, especially where I'm at, Winter Spring, Tanaris, even Stranglethorn. That's where I, like, first experience uh, cross faction. No, oh, even Barons. The Barons. Alliance tried to get to ratchet all the time but yeah um no you're you're just gonna die if you do hardcore and on war mode there was somebody the other day somebody did battlegrounds on hardcore they died they died like you don't come back from that so that freaked me out a bit I just, uh, kind of got startled by the cat behind me. You see her? <laughs> she's looking right at me. <laughs> she scared me. I've been watching, uh, like these ghost videos lately. And there was this video of this paranormal couple who, they did like a live stream of where they were going and they used uh, a Ouija board to try to communicate with the ghost and they asked are you here now and the guy uh, thought he heard a voice behind him that says yes and he looks behind him gets the camera and he puts the camera and he's looking through the closet and then there was like this creepy woman with black hair <laughs> i don't know if you guys believe in ghosts but um i really like watching uh paranormal investigations 
and it was just really creepy. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> Gonna hit level 56 today. Gonna hit level 56 today. We're gonna hit level 56 today. Oh, we're gonna hit level 56 today. Gonna hit level 56 today. We're gonna hit level 56 today. We're gonna hit level 56 today. It only took me 6 hours and 12 minutes to hit level 56 today. Come on! Woo! That was exhausting. <laughs> this has been exhausting. Alright. Finally, finally, we can get some skill upgrades. Got a lot of junk, a lot of gold, and all that gold is going to upgrades. Okay, I wasn't really planning on recording anything today. I was just online and just gonna do some grinding, but I saw like a level two. Night Elf. Just passed by- There she is. Okay, she just ran in. Ran into Everlook. She just went into this bank here. Like... There she is! Like, what the- <gasps> Not hardcore, okay. Still though! What are you doing? <laughs> That was just so strange. What are you doing? Why are you here? Like... Okay, she, she logged out now, but... Yeah, I, I saw her... Running by, like... Along this path. And it was just so strange. She was just on this path, like... <laughs> Why? Why? What's the point? 